Along Limuru Road meters from the UN complex, you won't miss the merchants by the roadside. Their artworks stand out and serve the upmarket society. It is on this very road you will notice Eric Ombija, a 27-year-old artist. One can mistake his overall for an abstract art. The pain spectrum only reveals the experience the father of two has under his paintbrush. What will quickly catch your eye is the 25-inch Obama painting that stands tall above all. And oblivious of the fact that he has an average body, his smile and charm will draw you closer. Hardly a fortnight to Obama's visit to Kenya, Ombija has for close to a year done numerous draft paintings of Obama. The final piece he canvassed took him a month to put together. The painting of Obama, I do it because in the year 2008, I was supposed to do the painting, but I was in high school. By the time Obama campaigning to be the president of the United States of America, during those times I was in high school, I didn't do the painting, but I tried to do the sketches, but I still I was not too good. But right now, Obama is my hero. According to I've been inspired with Obama because a black American born blood, his blood running in, in Kenyan's blood, like her, her father was a Kenya, to go and stand in a super power country to be to want to be a president of that country expire. That's what I believe. Anything in this world, when you believe, and you can do it. During his high school days, Ombija happened to have met former CEO of General Motors East Africa, William Lay, who at the time noticed his skill of the brush, and at an early age, armed him with two drawing books and a set of color pencils. Umbija walks 25 kilometers to his workplace, but he is quick to share that Yegiri was his only available space and he was optimistic. His paintings would help him shelter and feed his housewife, two younger brothers and his children in his one-bedroom house in Lakisama, Kasarani. Underneath his tools of trade, Ombija has his numerous certificates from well-recognized institutions. These certificates and previous newspaper interview cuttings have given him the morale to keep going. I do art because I love art. I love to draw, I love to do painting, whatever, whatever I feel, I'm very sad, I'm, I'm very lonely, like someone who raised without parents, raised with the great woman. I'm doing my art. Whatever I'm thinking of, then thinking of something or do what I normally do, painting. Ombija has the hope that the Obama painting would be a gateway to elevate his colleagues and himself from the harsh climate and have better tools. He wants to hand over the painting to the most powerful man in the world. He wants Obama to buy it for $2,000. Kasita managed to make this dream to come true to shake your hand, Mr. President. Please, I believe this painting, whatever will take it from me, I'd love to this painting to reach to you. And when you put it on your wall, when you check this painting, you see the flag of Kenya backside of your shoulder and the flag of US front of you and you twist your all it twist your eye a little bit and see young people struggle like me in Kenya please also us we are believe our dream will come true but whether you are going to retire Mr. President try to do something to the youth of Kenya U.S. President Barack Obama will become the first sitting American president to visit Kenya this July. He will attend the first global entrepreneurship summit to be held in sub-Saharan Africa in Nairobi and will, according to the U.S. Ambassador to Kenya, Robert Godek, also hold bilateral talks with President Uhuru Kenyatta. My name is Artis Tombija. I respect my hustle. For my karaoke, 
I'm Jen going for Capital TV.